find the tripod in your foot better, you can use some wedges or grab two or three dishcloths, flannels or small towels. If it's the cloth that you have, fold them up so you've got about this much thickness, but you can also double it up, remembering, because they're going to, to get squished. And you're gonna place that under the knuckle of the big toe and just notice how that feels. For the most part, our tripod is narrowed. A little bit through the footwear that we wear and just the way we move our body. We wanna really experience that full tripod. And to do that, we bring the ground to meet the foot. Wouldn't put this in a shoe, but certainly for getting foot movements, this is a very effective way. So you can put the knuckle under the big toe and just Notice how that feels. You can also bring the ground to meet on the other side. Again, rolling up to maybe a couple of centimetres, a little squish down onto the other side. As this is really shining a light in the brain for you to feel the knuckle of the big toe and the knuckle of the little toe. And you might want to compare on the other side and think, oh, I can really feel that in contact, not so much on the other. Make sure you do both sides, but nice to compare either side. And if it's with the wedges, we're just gonna pop a little bit of wedge under, a little bit of wedge under. So it's sort of halfway through, but again, just to feel the ground coming up to meet, to really bring those three points of contact in. The heels are fairly big contact there, so it's really the front two points, knuckle of the big toe, knuckle of the little toe, to really experience that. 